Hey guys, welcome to Vlogtober, day 19, and I had no idea what to do today, so I thought, self, what have we done that we've liked? And something I really enjoyed doing with you guys is going through what I own. So I thought, I've done my anime, I've done my TV collection, the movie collection, that's gonna be a long one when I finally do it, but... I thought I would share my books with you so I'm gonna take you through and tell you the authors and what little series because mo the majority of the books I read have like main series and then they're like offshoots of series so I hope you like this and let's just jump into it and always guys <laughs> this is in no particular order whatsoever I just kind of pulled them forward so you could see it so we have don't judge me. We have the Princess Treasury book, which is basically all the princess stories in one. And then I have the House of Night series by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. And I have maybe one or two more, but in all honesty, once it stops just being Zoe's point of view, I'm a little distracted and don't really like it. So there's that. Uh. A friend got me the first Vampire Diaries book, and I just, in all honesty, if they would have made the TV series like they made the book, then they wouldn't have an audience because Elena in the book is so damn dislikable. She's like Caroline in the series, but in the book, and uh, personal theory, feelings, I guess, I don't know. And then we have... Uh, the first book in the True Blood series. Um, I love Cece Hunter. She has uh, a couple more books in the series out that I just haven't bought yet. Because I got a Nook, and I'm not going to lie, I've been doing a lot of reading on my Nook. And then this is a little side collection book of... In these books... They talk about a manual, and so this is basically the manual that they're talking about. My friend got that for me. Oh, another present. <laughs> I have the entire box set collection for the Twilight series. Um, this is just a random collection of different s vampire stories. I might have a problem. Not with those. <laughs> those are not real vampires. I was... Born in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer era. Bad. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. There's Patricia Briggs. And the reason I really like Patricia Briggs is because she writes book, books, like, based in my area. Like, there's a map in the back of these books. I'm like, ah, oh, I can kind of see where my town would be on that. So that's what amuses me. And there are two different series well, that I read. There's the uh, Mercy Thompson series, and then there's the Alpha and Omega series. That it's okay, but mostly these are the ones I love. All of these. Okay, and my next little area is basically no, no. This entire shelf is Janet Ivanovich. So there are a couple different series that. Uh, she does that I really like. The first one, which I am missing a couple, like I'm missing four and five that would go here, and then I'm missing, I think they're coming out, I'm missing her newer ones at this end, but it's uh, the Steph Stephanie Plum's series, and it's about a bounty hunter, and it is hilarious, and I love it. Okay, and then we move down into her other one, and it's the Metro Girl and Motormouth, and this is a Sam Tucker. I want to say Sam Tucker. And then there are the random offshoots of the Stephanie Plum novels. They're called the In-Between Novels, and they're about Stephanie, but instead of having the normal plot line, it goes a little more spooky, woo, and then... Not really spooky, just kind of supernaturally. Supernaturally. And they have Diesel. Dinsel, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But he's amazing and he smells like Christmas. And he has a special.
special powers. <laughs> but you have Visions of Sugar Plum. Oh, do I have two Visions of Sugar Plum? Huh, I have two Visions of Sugar Plum. Whoops. I have Plum Loving, Plum Lucky, Plum Spooky. And then you move into, this was a co-authored series. So it is by Janet Ivanovich, but it's also by Charlotte Hughes. And it's the Full House series. And it's an Alexander Barnaby. No, maybe Alexander Barnaby's this one. Barney, maybe. I don't know, one of the others. I know this has Max Holt in it. I can't remember. I want to say Swifty maybe is her name. I don't know. But then ba this kind of ties back in when I was telling you about the In the Between novels with that Diesel guy. He got his own little series, kind of. Okay, and this is Wicked Appetite. And it is with Lizzie and Diesel from the In the Betweens. And there is... Another one that's already out that I don't own yet, and they're coming out with a third one. I'm so excited. Yes! Okay. <laughs> uh, Fifty Shades of Grey and Fifty Shades Darker by E.L. James. Don't read these kids, they're bad. My friend Casey got me into them. They're kind of naughty in an extreme way, and if ever, anyone ever spanked me, I'd punch them in their face. Anyways, moving on. We have the Mythos Academy novels, Touch of Frost, Kiss of Frost, Dark Frost, and there's another one coming out. God, I love Jennifer Eastep. We move in to Janine Frost and her multiple, multiple books. So we have the Cat Crawfield books with Cat and Bones, and then Jenna, okay, and then... Okay, and then we have First Drop of Crimson, which is Kat's best friend Denise's book with Bones' best friend Spade. And then this one is the main female character is Kira and Munchires, Minchires, I can't pronounce his name. But basically he's the guy who led to him being made. They all interconnect, that's why I like, they always show up. But these two are side stories and there's a couple more that I do not own yet. Okay, moving on. Okay, and then we have the Cassandra Palmer series by Karen Chance. And then you move in from that to Karen Chance's other books that are the Dory. Darber, I can't, it's Dory. <laughs> it's Dory, I don't remember. But that's her other one and then there's torn by erica o'rourke and she has two others that i do not own yet but the, one of them's out the other i'm waiting for it to be released dead sexy and tall dark and dead are both by tate holloway and i love her random book like a charm by candace heavens so good but there's only one and i really liked it Okay, and then uh, the other Bowling Girl by Felipe George. Oh my god. I love that book, but whenever me and my best friend watch the movie, her stepfather gets sent to the hospital. Don't know if that's connected. Whatever. And I love Tamara Pierce. It's probably weird that I have these in with all those others, but I love all of her books. All of them. And I also have her Trickster's Choice books. And, of course, what's a vampire fanatic without Queen of the Damned by Anne Rice. And random, random book that I love is Walling Up by Silver Silverstein. I love his books. So funny. Well, guys, that's my book collection. So, guys, that is the end of my book collection video. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like comment if you have any books you think I should be reading and if for some reason you haven't done it yet subscribe for every <laughs> day videos in October so that's the end and I will see you all later have a good night bye princess wave